Hey everyone, I uh, just want to give a quick update on the general um, and uh, a couple of uh, other general things. Um, first off, um, I don't know if you noticed my, my garage lights. Um, these, these are LED tubes, um, I actually got them from Costco. Um, what I've done is I've replaced, you can see right there, um, I've replaced the, the, the single fixtures with just a plug-in because these are plug-in. Um, and then they wire together. You can actually wire up to four of them together. And I added a, a fourth one in here today. I had the other three previously, but um, made a big difference when, um, when, cause I used the top of this fridge as, as kind of a workbench. Um, anyway, just a, a nice feature, much brighter in here as well. Um, another couple of notes. Um, I, I think I mentioned previously, I've got a battery tender. Um, so I've got that plugged in, um, all charged up. It, it gave a charging flash for maybe four or five minutes and um, uh, not that the battery was low. I just thought I'd plug it in just to test it out. Um, the other thing I'm doing too is I've got the driver's seat out right now and um, what I'm doing is I'm in the process of getting the wiring done on my dome light. Uh, my wiring runs down over here and what I've done is, you can see, I've actually got a switch. Um, it's not wired in just yet, but I've got a switch that I've added in, and it's a, it's a latch switch. Um, this came from Amazon. Um, this is a Lamptron, um, and it's a blue LED in here. Um, I'm in the process of getting that wired in. Um, so there's access, you can see it uh, right up in there. Um, and I've got blue Loctite on it, you can see there. So i um, just gonna wire it down and I'm in the process of making up a harness for that. Um, because these are LEDs and, um, and the wiring on these, they're actually, it's really, really fine wiring. In fact, I've got some here on the workbench and you can see here, I mean, the wiring here is very, very fine. So these are, these are definitely low amperage draw. I am going to, I know it's not the norm, but I'm going to actually wire uh, the power directly through the switch and I'm going to wire it directly to the battery in this case. Um, the main reason is I wanna be able to turn the light on anytime, um, at any time basically. And, um, and I figured um, that this would be a good spot here to, um, to put the switch. You can just reach in, very easy to find. It will light up and then some other folks online, what they've done is they've actually mounted um, an automotive style plunger switch here. I don't really like that idea because when you're getting in the vehicle, um, you're lifting up your leg, there's a very good chance that you'll snag that switch. And there's not a very good position on the general to put another type of switch, at least not that I've found. Um, I'm certainly open to suggestions, but this is a, I think a good compromise is just add the switch here. Um, I went ahead and bought the, um, the wiring harness because it does use little small um, spade type connectors. Um, but I've got that, um, got that ready to go, ready to get finalized, um, just, about, um, just about finished with it. And I'll do a check in with that. The other thing I wanted to mention, I saw this, somebody had posted on one of the um, online boards about this is where the ECU is and this huge hole. And you can look, I'll put the light back here. That's actually from back behind the bed. And you can even see, I've got a little bit of dust here. What they did is they, they fabricated up a, <coughs> excuse me, a shield that would go here. Uh, I think I'm probably gonna do the same thing. I'm not in any hurry on doing that, but, um, but that is something that, uh, that I am thinking of uh, very strongly of doing and, um, and will likely do that in the near future. Panel just pops right in. Um, I've got, um, got everything else I think pretty much buttoned up. Uh, if you remember this right here, um, I, had, I had actually drilled the hole off center. I actually got a plug. I've got that put in there now. Um, I just got to clean it up a little bit. Um, and I did change out the fan override switch. Um, you can see now 
the lower portion of this was not lit up originally. I just basically just replaced, replaced the switch that was there before. And I also, the other thing I did is this is my, this rotary switch right here. This is my selector for my, my siren. So I can change that. And, uh, and do that on the fly. So I added that. And then also too, if you can see, it's not very easy to see with the, um, with the lights on the garage, but uh, I have swapped out the LEDs there. I've also added an LED in the glove box as well. So um, just some additional nighttime illumination. Um, I'll do some further updates as I continue. And also once I get the, uh, the dome light in, um, the, the cold weather here in Atlanta has finally let up a bit and um, a little bit better for riding. Um, I've also been watching a lot of videos online, by the way, um, if you get a chance, support sidebysideblog.com. They have an awesome YouTube station uh, or YouTube channel. I highly recommend them. They're super nice guys. Um, they posted a really great uh, Hatfield McCoy video and um, I'm looking forward to, uh, to taking this up to West Virginia to do those trails and, and doing a lot, a lot of other trails as well. But uh, definitely, definitely support the sidebysideblog.com guys. Uh, if you don't already, they are just fabulous. Anyway, that's it for right now. Uh, I will uh, post another update once I get further along. Um, I'm also continuing to do research on a light bar for up here. I think I made my choice there. Not ordered it yet, um, but um, we're, uh, we're getting there. We're almost, uh, almost finished with all the upgrades that I wanted to do, all the upgrades that I had planned. I really appreciate my new subscribers and, um, and thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate it.